Screening for gestational diabetes is recommended in all pregnancies at 24 to 28 weeks. This is because while there are some risk factors that can be identified, many women who have gestational diabetes have no risk factors whatsoever. If you do have risk factors, such as a personal history of diabetes in a prior pregnancy, a family history of diabetes, if you are overweight or advanced maternal age, your provider may recommend screening as early as your first prenatal visit. To screen for gestational diabetes, we will be giving you a predetermined sugar load drink in the office and then drawing your blood work. Based on this, we will be able to determine whether or not you have gestational diabetes. If you are diagnosed with gestational diabetes, you will be referred to a diabetes educator who will help you with a diet plan, help you know what blood sugar control you need to have in order to help to maintain a safe pregnancy, and as well, a high-risk obstetrician may be involved in your care in addition to your general OB provider. Women who are diagnosed with gestational diabetes do have a higher risk of certain complications for both themselves and their newborns. Complications that can be associated with gestational diabetes for mothers include an increased risk for preeclampsia, which is a high blood pressure disorder of pregnancy, a higher risk of cesarean delivery, and approximately two-thirds of women diagnosed with gestational diabetes will go on to be diagnosed with type 2 diabetes later in life. For newborns, there is a higher risk of being born with a low blood sugar, which may require an admission to the neonatal intensive care unit, a higher risk of a high birth weight, as well as a link to childhood obesity. It's important to remember that all of these risks can be reduced by having good blood sugar control throughout the pregnancy. Gestational diabetes in pregnancy is associated with several outcomes for mothers and babies that we will be monitoring you for. In mothers, there is an increased risk for preeclampsia, which is a high blood pressure disorder of pregnancy. There's an increased risk for cesarean delivery and a higher risk for type 2 diabetes later in life. For babies, there is an increased risk of being born with low blood sugar, which can increase the admission rate to the neonatal intensive care unit. There's an increased risk for a high birth weight and also a link with childhood obesity. It's important to understand that with good blood sugar control, all of these risks can be reduced. In pregnancy to reduce your risk of developing gestational diabetes, it is recommended that you participate in a moderate intensity aerobic activity more days of the week than not. Not only is exercise recommended in pregnancy, but it is also safe and encouraged. If you have any questions about whether or not your exercise of choice is safe, you can ask your provider. It is also recommended to avoid a diet that is high in any added sugar foods or beverages.